I'm going to show you how to write undetectable AI content for your website. This article will be created from keyword research and a nice outline after analyzing the top ranking results. It will also have a number in bullet lists, pull out quotes, and it'll pass the most popular AI content detectors as human written content. I'll also test it in the most difficult AI content detector to see if it can pass that one. Let's jump into it. Click the link in the description to write an article using SEO AI. SEO AI is an AI tool that helps you generate SEO enhanced content and articles. Here's some of the features. Keyword research so you can uncover relevant keywords that create topical depth and improve rankings as an advanced AI SEO score so you can evaluate your content for better rankings and get recommendations for improvement, content suggestions, and real-time SEO guidance. So you can enter in your website and it'll give you AI generated content ideas as well as content you should be creating for your site along with search volume and difficulty. I'm going to switch the idea for this keyword and let AI write this article. Then it gives you some information like the target keyword, the H1, and it gives you the option to turn on these SEO optimization features. Then it puts together an outline and you can edit this outline or you can create other headings. So this is a good looking outline. It has good nested headings and it looks like it covers the article pretty thoroughly. So I'm going to generate this article. Once you click generate, it starts writing the article and you can watch it write or you can come back. So I'm going to cut back to when it's finished. So here's the finished article. It looks like it's just under 2000 words and I'm going to scroll through so you can see it. It looks pretty good. It has some good information in it. And it has all of the headings that were contained in the outline. Here's a pullout quote. And then here's some more good information. And it gives some good tips here. Here it gives practices for my article. And it goes a little more in depth in explaining that. And then here, this caught my eye is a strange word. So AI is known to do this sometimes. It'll have these strange words in the article. So I'm gonna highlight this. And one thing I like about this software is I can click rewrite this for a more common word and it'll add it in there. So I switched this word out for a more common sounding word. I'm gonna keep scrolling down some more just so you can see the quality of this article. And it really went into a lot of detail for this topic and this keyword. Here it gives some tips. Here it gives some more tips and these headings are properly nested. And there's no conclusion. So I'm going to add in a conclusion here. I can just type write a conclusion paragraph and it'll just add it in there automatically. So that's a good feature. I can also generate a meta description here at the top. So it generated this meta description for me. And this is a good looking meta description. It actually does follow the character limits for search engines, which I haven't seen much. So this is a good meta description. Here's the keyword optimization tool. So it gives me an SEO score and then it gives me a list of semantic keywords I should add in for my article. So here's a list of keywords that are not included and I can go in and add those manually. It also shows the content length recommendations. So it wrote this article based on the length of the top ranking pages for this keyword. So it's about an average of those pages. Some of those pages are around 3,800 words, some are around 800. So it wrote me an article that's about 2,000 words. I can also click SERP competitor benchmark 
and it'll show the top ranking pages and some more details about those pages. So it gives me the word count, how many links they have, some of the other semantic keywords they've included, a title score and an SEO score. So this is good research and I like that it analyzes the search engine results pages. So I added in some of these keywords and it gives me an SEO score of 77%. So I added in about 13 of those keywords out of the 23 recommended and it updated my score. So it's good to be able to optimize the article after it's been written. Now I'm gonna show you the AI Keyword Explorer so I can enter in keywords associated with my keyword and it'll give me a list of keywords, search volume, difficulty, and I have the option to create content. It also has these topics here at the top that I can filter by. So this is good information to have and it's always good to have some extra keywords. Here's the classic keyword explorer, which I think works much better and it gives some really good keyword choices here, especially for keywords that I may not have thought about but could possibly rank for. Some of the easier keywords to rank for. And here I even found a keyword that I haven't made an article for, but I think this is a great opportunity for my website. So since I really like this keyword, I can just click create content. After that, it'll give me the same information again, so I can click review subheadings and it puts together an outline for me. And then I'm gonna go here to the bottom and add in a conclusion because it did not include a conclusion. And I can easily do that by just adding the extra heading. Then I'm gonna write this article. So again, it writes it here. So I'm gonna cut to the end. And here is another article I got written. It's 2,600 words. And again, it has good headings. It has some pullout quotes. Here's a numbered list. Here's some insights. Here's a bullet list. And this is a good looking article. I think this article looks much better than the first article I had written. So I'm going to continue to scroll through it just so you can see some of the quality. And then again, I can go back through with the SEO tool and optimize it even more. So now I'm going to take some of this content and I'm going to put it in the AI content detectors to see how it performs. So let's start off with Scriber. Scriber says there's a 0% chance this text was generated by AI. And remember, Scriber is powered by Turnitin, a popular AI content detector. Let's try another one. Content detector says this is likely human content with a probability of 29% that this content was generated by AI. So that's a really good score for this one. This is also an average AI content detector. Let's try content at scale. Content at scale says it's hard to tell. And this is the most difficult AI content detector to pass. So for it to say it's hard to tell basically is a win. So you can see that some of these sentences have been marked as written by human. And there's a few that it can't really tell but for the most part, it thinks that this content was written by a human. So this is a good result for this AI content writer. Let's get into the pros and cons of SEO AI and my overall opinion. Here's the pros. It generates good content from a good outline that's created after analyzing the SERPs for the keyword. The content it wrote past AI content detectors. The classic keyword research tool uncovered some great opportunities for my site that I hadn't seen previously. The SEO optimization tool gives some good suggestions for optimizing the article after it's been written. Here's the cons. The 
content had some strange wording at times, so it would need to be reviewed before posting to the website. The SEO optimization tool is a little slow in calculating the scores. I thought it froze, but it just takes a few minutes to load. The feature that adds content based on FAQs didn't work at all. It kept writing words backwards and I couldn't get it to work correctly. The software also doesn't have any options for images, so you would have to source or create them yourself. Overall, SEO AI is a good AI content writer that writes undetectable AI content created after analyzing the top ranking pages. Click the link in the description to write an article for free using SEO AI. Check out these other AI software you should be using.